Go from beginner to expert with Final Cut Pro animated titles in just one video. I'll show you how to animate 3D titles and motion graphics in just two steps. Then I'll show you a little known animated title built into Final Cut Pro. After that, I'll share three ways to make custom title animations. And at the end, I'll hook you up with animated titles that are worth $138 for free. But first, let's animate, mate. So Final Cut Pro comes with a ton of built-in titles that are already animated. Let's take a look at a few of them. Go up to the upper left corner and click on this title browser button right here. This opens up the title browser and you can see there's a ton built in with Final Cut Pro. Let's take a look at this 3D and 3D cinematic area. We have a bunch of 3D titles in here we can use. If you skim over it, you can preview to see what it looks like. Let's add this tumble 3D to our project. I'll drag and drop it above my clip and here's how that looks. Nice. I can click here to add my text. I can adjust things like the line spacing. I can pick the font. I can adjust the size of it as well. And if we scroll down here, I can change the color of it right down here. And I can also make the 3D text thicker. Here we go, you can really see it moving. All right, now here's how that looks. Pretty cool. In just a couple clicks, I have an awesome animated 3D title. Let's look at this next category called build in and out. There are a ton of animated titles in here. Let's take a look at this knockout title here. I'll drag and drop it above my clip, and here's what that looks like. Ah, this is a cool effect where it cuts out the video below it, and it animates. I'm gonna trim the duration of my title by clicking and dragging on the end of it, and then I'll select my title, and I'll double click on the text, and I can add my own text right away. We can adjust it a little bit here, and of course we can change the font, but I'll leave it as is for now. We can also move it around on screen. Let's put it right in the center here. And here's how that looks. There's a really cool one in here called Custom, and I'm not gonna show you that yet, but it's one of my favorite for animated titles. We'll come back to you, buddy, don't worry. First, let's go to this bumper opener section here. This is a bunch of titles built into Final Cut Pro that you can use to start your video. Just drag and drop it above your clip, then select it and go to the inspector. If you don't see it open over here, just click this button with the three sliders to open the inspector and then go to the title inspector. We have some drop zones here we can use. So I'll click on this first drop zone. Here's one, I'll select the clip and then I'll select where I want it to start with this red line. I'll click there and then click apply. Then I'll click again and I'll select my next clip and then click apply and then we'll fill in the rest. And here's the last one. We can click to change our text. If we move along, we'll see we have more text we can change. We'll select the text and enter our new text. And for the sake of this video, I won't change those last three. But here's what that looks like. You'll notice that these last two video clips froze. That's because I selected the endpoint too late and there wasn't enough media to play through the whole title. So it shows a freeze frame. Just keep that in mind when you're selecting the endpoint. Next up is lower thirds. These are great when you need to add a little bit of information to the screen. Let's add this purple comic book one to our title. And here's how that looks. We can quickly select it and change the information in here. And if we go to the title browser, we can change a few things as well. We can change the font, the size, the color. We can also turn on and off the build in and animation. And here's what that looks like. We got a cool animated lower third in just a couple clicks. Okay, now there's this little section down here that a lot of people don't know, but I absolutely love. It's called social. Click on that category and you'll see all of these built-in animated titles. Let's add this one to our project. I'll drag and drop it over my clip and let's check it out. It zooms into the clip. It puts this colorful box in here with some text. So let's customize it. I'll select my text by double clicking on it and let's add our own text. You guessed it, stupid raisins. And let's change our font and let's change the size. There we go. And let's change the color of the text. I'll come down here to face and click on show and then I'll click this button here and I can select whatever font I want to use. Let's go with that one. Let's go to the title inspector and I can change the gradient color here. We'll start with this purple and let's end with a darker purple. There we go. And here's what that looks like. Got a nice custom animated title and it only took a few seconds to set up. 
Do you like these titles I'm showing you? If so, will you please give this video a thumbs up so I know I'm doing a good job? Thank you. Coming up, I'm gonna show you how to get those free plugins I made. But first, I got to show you how to use the custom title template. So let's go back to build in and out and let's add custom to our project. Now let's play it. Ah, what the heck, it doesn't do anything. That's because we need to change these parameters here in the inspector. Let's set in scale to zero and then let's set in tracking to negative 50 and in spread to eight and let's set in speed to ease both. And now let's set our opacity out to zero and our Y to negative 35, our out scale to 50, our out rotation to negative 35, out blur to seven, out spread to 25, and then out speed, let's change that to ease both. Okay, so what that does is it changes the in animation. So with this in scale, it's gonna start at zero and grow, and it's gonna spread out as well. And the spread option allows us to say, how much of it do we do at once? If it's a low number, it does one letter at a time. If we have a high spread number, it does all the letters at once. First, let's change our text here. You guessed it, stupid raisins. And let's change the font and the size and the color lastly. All right, let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks good. All right, and then it kind of falls away and fades away. So custom is really powerful and you can make some really cool title animations with it. Let's animate with transitions. Let's go to bumper opener and add this basic title to our project. And you can see it doesn't do anything. First, let's change the text, change our font, and let's make it bigger. There we go. And let's change the color too. All right, now let's change the duration of our title down here. I'll just click and drag on the end of it to make it shorter and to fit this clip. Now let's go to transitions. Click on this button over here on the right hand side to open the transitions browser. And then scroll down to movements category. And then in movements, towards the bottom, you'll find this one called spin. I love using this one. And if you've seen some of my other tutorials, I use it in there as well. So let's drag and drop spin onto our title. And now let's take a look at it. Ah, it animates on, the title does. It spins into place. If we select that first transition, we'll see this on-screen control. We can move from where we want it to spin. So I'm gonna put it over here on the left-hand side. And we can change the direction from which it spins. Let's check that out. Kind of swoops into place. And then, oh, that doesn't quite work on the end. That's not what we want. So let's select the end transition and go to our inspector and under direction, change out. And then let's move our location where it's gonna go out to and let's change how it spins as well. All right, let's see how that looks. Swoops into place, it hangs out for a little bit and then it swoops out. Very cool. Transitions are a great way to animate titles in just one click. Click, drag, and drop. Did you know that Final Cut Pro comes with a built-in motion tracker? So we can animate our titles to stick or move with a certain part of the video clip. Let's use this clip right here of the guy doing a podcast and let's go down to social and let's click and drag this lower third onto the viewer and let's put it over his face till we get this oval face tracker. We'll let it go and then we can adjust this if we need to. We can make it a little bit wider, a little bit taller, shorter, but I think it's a pretty good as is. Let's put our title at the beginning of the clip and then let's trim our title to the end of the clip and now I can click analyze. Final Cut will analyze his face and the movement and then it will stick the title to it. Let's go up here to tracker and let's disable rotation. We just want position. And now I'll click done and we can see that the title moves around with his head. You see how it moves side to side as he's, as he's talking? That's pretty cool. But I want it closer up here by him. So I can click and drag on this text up here and it will move it up by his head. And then we can put in his name. We'll say it's Dylan. Now let's take a look at that. Looks pretty good, but it doesn't animate on. That's because Final Cut Pro turned off the in animation for the tracking. So go to titles and let's enable that again, where it says build in, let's check it. And now here's what our animation looks like. It moves in, it moves with his head, it's right there, it tracks with him. It's perfect. All right, so another way to animate titles is to use some third party plugins. And I have these ones right here, these social media thirds. Here are these social media thirds that I made. So 
you can just click and drag it to your project. Let's put it right here above this clip. We can change the duration. We can use these on-screen controls to move it around. We can also make it bigger or smaller and we can rotate it. I can select the text and quickly change the text right here. And if I click on the title inspector, I have a lot of options in here I can change. I can change the look of this. Let's change it from a red YouTube to kind of a purple YouTube. I'll select that first color and then I'm just gonna drag and drop this down to add that color to each spot where it is red. And let's change this to a white. I'll drag and drop white on there. And we have a custom looking title really fast. It animates in a cool way and it looks professional. If you want this title plus like 90 other templates, it's titles, effects, and transitions. And it's perfect for upping your game and making your videos look a little more professional. So just click the link in the description below. Happy editing.